So today we're talking about talking about. I can't even say Talking about. So how are we today? Okay, man. Mm-hmm. So today we're talking about everything Neil Gaiman. Not really everything. everything. <laughs> 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 Maybe <just> everything. <laughs> Hi guys, welcome back to another video of The Random Burrito where we talk about books, food, gaming, pop culture, and everything else. And if that sounds like your thing, please like and subscribe and hit the bell button to get notified when we have a new video. So today we're talking about Coraline. So we're going to do, uh, for the first time in this channel, three things or three discussions. Not really reviews, but we're going to talk about the book, uh, the movie, and the Funko Pop. Wow, so it's a very packed uh, episode um, today. Kind of, yes. But we're just going to breeze through um, those three things. Um, things, yeah. So we don't really have to go like deep into um, each like, of them. We don't have to discuss okay. them in great, great detail. Okay. Okay. So it's February, um, but instead of going for the cheesy, the regular, you know, like. <laughs> Like relationship, the couple thing. Yeah. Okay. Um, I would rather just pay homage to Neil Gaiman's 2002 uh, bestseller, best-selling book Coraline. Mm-hmm. So it's one of my favorite books. Um, it was released 2002 of this month, February. Oh. So it's what? It's like uh, 18 years. 18 years ago. Oh. So. This is quite an amazing read. It's very short. I think it's just about 163 pages long. Oh, okay. And I remember this as the last <clears throat> book that I read out loud to my son. Mm. So it's it's Aww. extra memorable for me. Mm. For him, probably not so much. <laughs> Why? He's grown oh, up, okay. you know, so much already. I'm so. sure he still remembers that. Yeah, but I remember him um, enjoying it. My son is not... Um, he's not... As, as into books. into books as I am, mm. so that's something that he did not get from me. But that's that's okay. I mean, he has his own thing. I think <laughs> he's into games, sports, things that are that I'm not into. Okay. Okay. So going back, so this book right here is probably one of Neil Gaiman's um, more popular books ever. Yeah. But um, he's written a whole lot, so that's saying yeah. something, right? Yeah, um, Coraline is one of the um, works that's been in so uh, main uh, mainstream media. So he has written a lot of uh, collection of stories, short stories and other um, graphic novels yeah. um, that you know weren't adapted into a movie or a show. So um, I'm excited to um, go further. So I haven't seen a copy of the book um, in fully book anymore. Really. Yeah, so I've only seen the Graveyard Book, um, The Dream Hunters. Um, I have that book. Is it Graveyard Book? Yeah, the Graveyard Book. Um, It's a really good book. And the graphic novel is um, two parts. So, um, and then what other things? American Gods. Stardust. Stardust is his. That's my favorite movie. Yeah, that's adapted adapted into a movie. Yeah, Claire Danes. So pretty. That was um, amazingly simple, but very entertaining like the movie I, yeah i usually don't good. like like um those kind of uh, movie genres like it's either um like a full-blown science fiction or just romance yeah but they he blended it together very nicely yeah right? yeah okay kudos to neil gaiman probably um or undoubtedly one of our favorite authors yes. right? and actually neil gaiman has a master class um, i've seen that too you've, you've seen mm-hmm. the advert or just the advert yeah same. So like he talks about like character building, world building. So you know, he should enroll. So um, just a few more um, fun facts about Coraline. Mm-hmm. So this won a few awards. Um, I think in two thousand three, it won the a lot. Like, I need to check. Um, the, it won the Nebula um, award. So that the Nebula one, yeah. award is for like science fiction and fantasy. And then um, Hugo and, Award for Best Novella. I'm yeah. not familiar with these award giving bodies, but you know, they're award giving body yaddy yaddy. So in 2002, it won the Bram Stoker Award for Best Work for Young Readers because um, Coraline is geared towards like 
darker, kind of darker. But for kids, yeah, for kids, yeah. So it's a bit creepy. It's usually um, compared with Alice in Wonderland, yeah. but with a uh, darker, darker Tom. twist. Yeah. Okay. Um, so we're see. we're not going to talk about the story because you know I, as as <laughs> okay. So I don't believe in discussing like actual plots mm-hmm. or book reviews. I mean, as much as we can help it, mm-hmm. I'd rather let first time readers like enjoy it themselves. Okay. So we're just going to go over uh, just basic stuff about uh, Coraline. Yeah. All right. So, anything else you want to share about the book? Uh, anything you've heard about the book? Well, I've, so I've read that um, Coraline was like a misprint of Caroline. Caroline. No. Caroline. Um. I. What I read about it was um, it was supposedly Caroline. Mm-hmm. And then uh, Narong Sha, the uh, Narong Sha, uh-huh. and then Neil thought to himself that someone out there, out there, ha- has that name. Like mm. someone is out there that, who's actually Coraline. Coraline. And you know, I have a friend Caroline, mm. and I call her Coraline, and she finds it really amusing. <laughs> so it's become sort of um, like an inside joke. joke between us because the people around us don't really know about the Coraline, thing. the Coraline um, reference. Mm. Okay, and uh, um, if you've seen the movie, have you seen the movie? So I've, so the movie was playing in the background while I was studying for. How disrespectful! Of which one? <laughs> <laughs> the Apologize. nursing board review or <laughs> the movie? <laughs> Cor- Coraline and Neil. <laughs> Sorry. Shout Sorry. out to Neil Gaiman. <laughs> hey hey. So it was playing in the background, and then I was reading or like browsing through my notes, and then. Occasionally looking at the TV, so. so it's like your white noise at that time. Yeah. Okay. But you know, um, I've seen the movie multiple times. Mm-hmm. Um, I really enjoyed it. I think it's the first. Um, what uh, what do you call that? Stop kind of motion. Stop motion animation. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Stop motion. By the animation studio Leica. I'm not mm-hmm. sure if I'm pronouncing it correctly. The movie itself won a few awards. Yeah. Yeah. So it really says something about you know the the material. So you should all. Try and give it a go. Um, yeah, it has a Tim Burton ish ish yeah. um, aesthetic, like the gothic, um, qual- the gothic aesthetic, the like the thin um, limbs and then the huge head. It's very Tim Burton. Especially the other mother. Yeah. So that's very consistent. Yeah, that, uh, Tim Burton. So um, one of the things that really stood out to me was the other mother yeah, and their black like eyes. Yeah. The other mother. So it's marketed towards um, like older kids. Mm. Like young young adults, but mostly kids. Yeah. Um, but beware because some kids reported to have nightmares, nightmares. after reading it. Yeah. And you know, for, for good I reasons. can see why they, they would. And look, you actually mm-hmm. like um, the 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 possibility that another dimension exists, like a parallel uh-huh. universe that's more sinister. Mm-hmm. It's it's quite scary for kids. Yeah. So just to give you an idea. Um, about the art that is the Coraline movie. Mm-hmm. Uh, we have here um, three pops, Funko Pops. You know, you can see Funko Pops yeah. in my <laughs> <laughs> life. Ready, eh? Mostly your life. So I have three. Um, sadly, I don't have the complete Coraline series. Um, they have like six figures uh, released. So they have the Coraline with cat, Coraline in raincoat, the chase version is Coraline in raincoat with a cap. Mm. So the chase version is like the more special um, variant. Sure. And then there's the Coraline doll, which is my absolute favorite. Oh, that's nice. We have Mr. Babinski with mouse. So Mr. B, he has a mouse. No, I'm sorry, my circus. Mm. It's very, he's very um, eccentric. And we have the other mother, of course, the, the Bida. My only. Um, like reklamo about this line is kulang siya. Like we could have, they could have Funko could have released like YB or Y more. Mm, so more characters from the movie. Yeah, um, like Miss Miss Pink and Miss Forcible. Katung duha ka mga gymnast. Oh. Okay. Um, also the other father. Pwede get sila mag-release of um, other father na rides because he was riding a like a an insect-like. Mm, um, yeah, I remember that scene. 
Yeah, so let's go ahead and open uh, these pops. Where did you not buy? Any? Oh. Um, I bought this one online. It's uh, one of the shops. The shops. Um, but um, Coraline, this one I bought it um, at Play to Learn, Ayala. Shout out to Play to Learn, Ayala. Third level. Yeah. Outside what, of the main. What's with the low energy? <laughs> <laughs> So she put to them. So that's the other mothers. This is the oh. first time we see that anymore. Yeah. And so in uh, the movie, this one was voiced by Terry Hatcher. Oh. That's Red Housewives. That's Red Housewives. Superman. Lois yeah. Lane. Mm -mm. I like her very much. So in the movie, so of course she played both the actual mother and the other mother. mother. Um, she is quite scary. Mm. This should she explain that she is very loving to Coraline at first, but in return she would ask for her eyes. And an interesting part about the other mother is, at least in the book and also in the movie, mm -hmm. she's portrayed as this mon monstrous entity mm -hmm. that captures children, but she's not that evil. I'm so sorry, but. Yeah, victim count kay Tolura. Mm. In, the, in the span of decades, I think. So she's not a very effective monster. <laughs> and she's very loving. I, what I love is actually a spin off of like more like backstory. Niya like, what happened to this woman? Mm. Why did she become that depraved and that in you know, sinister? Short, who hurt you? Yeah, who hurt you, maybe? Nice one, Jack Boho. It's like a chic bob. Yeah. So um, she's not really loving. I, that's that's kind of hallmark of an abusive relationship. Ah, okay. So like, so it's like taking hostage, hostage, kind of like, you know, the cycle of violence. Na kind of like it hurt ka, and then I hala. So I made a boo boo. Here's my Apology. sorry. Accept my sorry, and then things go back to normal, and then it continues. So you know. Not from experience. That's not that, <laughs> that clear. <laughs> Just read it somewhere. Okay. Okay. Next. So next, um, let's open uh, Coraline okay. herself. Right. So what do you like about Coraline as a protagonist? As a protagonist, um, she is quite brave. She's very small. I mean, mm. for for Abida, mm. especially taking on this kind of monster. Yeah. Who's taken hold of like her entire family. Basically, her entire library. Yeah, she kind of did, yes. Yeah. Like very spindly fingers. Okay, mo may mukha sa mata. Yeah. So that part is actually the scariest part. Yeah. Like imagine the. I remember that. Like you have to give up your eyes. So. I love the detail of her hair. Actually, yes. She's very nice. Look at the blue. I like Coraline. She's the perfect embodiment of bravery. So, um, the famous one of my favorite. Quotes about bravery is from uh, this book. Um, I think she said, like, even if you're scared, but you you still decide to do it. That's, that's brave. brave. Yeah. So okay. it's it's true. It's absolutely true. And then um, let's move on to the third pop. This is my absolute favorite. Oh yeah, because you need bravery to get out of an abusive relationship. Ah, so they Oh my God! Did I just realize? Did I just? <laughs> okay, so this one is an absolute favorite pop. Oh, like, yeah, nice show. Very nice. So, can you see it? It's like a knit. A young hair can be knit. The hair is like we're gonna form braid. braid. Oh. Yeah, because it's a doll. In the movie, mo'ni siyang first nga gi feature. So, mm. um, pag start pag it's a movie, kay gi create ang doll mm. and then gi gi. It's like the first presence of other mother. Uh, like to lure Coraline into her world. Mm. But in the book, I don't think the doll was present. Just like Wyborn or YB, he was not in the book. Mm. But I'm not sure if it's Neil Gaiman himself or the publishers believe that it's quite weird. In a movie, Coraline would just talk to herself. Mm. So she needs someone to uh, interact. Not necessarily someone to get her out of you know, sticky situations, but just someone to support, to support her. So, why born was created, mm -hmm. which I think is a very, very abusive name for a child. Why born? born. Oh. It's like, why were you born? Why were you born? Yeah, and he could not speak. Mm. Okay. And 
there. So this is actually this has increased in value. Mm. The pop. Really? Why? Mm. I think it's already bolted if I'm not mistaken. Uh, the can you check the look at the what? face? Yeah, uh, yeah the uh, texture. Oh. Sure. For paper mesh actually oh uh, i was gonna say that and can they see the button eyes it's amazing yeah and it's scary mm. really my favorite so i'm just really sad now i did not buy the Coraline with the cat i've actually seen her so I hate to learn but for mm. some reason i bought something else so how do you available that cat is a Choices. very <laughs> <laughs> that cat is a very important um character know, as well so Nasa siya mga quotable lines himself and cat, cat oh. because the cat can speak oh, okay. only on the other world. Mm. Sa, of course, that world they, they can. Don't. And Coraline asked him for his name and he said, "My name is just Cat. Like unlike mm. people who needs the like a name, a name something will probably flash the quote. But mm. it's a very nice quote mm. about like um, can I sure get kasi mo self. So he he doesn't need a name now because he mm. knows who he is." So it's like a commentary about us humans. <laughs> From cats. We need labels. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We got labels. Abusive relationship. Yeah, so in a way, it's, a, it's still about a February theme. <laughs> no, we're not going to Yeah. Yeah, but I'm so glad to have taken these things out. They are so pretty. Um, once I have my shelf completed, I definitely will you know, display all three of them. I like the yellow and blue na Yeah, color. very nice. Uh, na pa seventh na pop on it. The coral line is the same pop, I think, but glittered. Oh. So the hair is glittered, but I don't really care for glittered pops so yeah. much. Fine. So diba, the, the stand doesn't stick again. Yeah. So mm -hmm. Funko, you're very consistent. They have been releasing like wave after wave of um, shows. Oh, like wave yeah, yeah. After wave I've of, seen some of those. I really would love to see more of, um, you know. Like and I've seen the um, like board game na Funko uh, featuring the Harry Potter characters. They're so small. Yeah. Do you like them? Mm, I love Harry Potter na franchise mm. and Potter had, so, you know. You should get the 10 inch Dumbledore with Fox. Oh. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. I will. Oh, she has a dragonfly now. Oh. Oh, okay. Because um, I'm not sure if Neil Gaiman intended it, but um, symbolism mga good sa um dragonfly is they are kanang representative of another realm. Ah, uh, okay. So, so I'm sure he he placed that on maybe, purpose. Maybe because um, like um, dragonflies are symbols of like the fairy realm or another mm. realm. So kanasya. Did you Yeah. Okay. Funko. Get it together. <laughs> and as you can see, na mga, you know, yeah, mga dirt. So these are actually like it came with a pop. Oh, okay. Na siya go because of press handling. But yes, this is my absolute favorite um, line. Line. I should consider these as actually my grail, mm -hmm. my personal Funko Pop grail. Mm -hmm. And yep. Yeah, it's very difficult to pick a favorite book or favorite movie, mm -hmm. but it definitely is one of my favorites. Ang book made it to what list was that? Like one thousand books. One hundred reads. One hundred best books of the twenty first century. Mm -hmm. Coraline is like the eighty fourth. Oh, so that's a big. Yeah. That's a very big deal. What list was that? Um, Ah, uh, the Guardian. Is that mm -hmm. like the newspaper? Yeah, the it's media uh, outlet. Something. Yeah, it's mm -hmm. um, a newspaper from the UK. Okay. okay. That's okay. where Anna Winter's dad worked before. Oh. Anna Winter being the what will I do? Editor in chief. I like the, the Vogue. You know, you know stuff. Yeah. <laughs> That's not that much, but I know stuff. Just shout out to Anna Winter. I can't stop looking at these pops. They're really beautiful. Like, yeah. Wow. So so let's admire more of these pops, and but I guess that's a wrap for this. Yeah, that's episode. a wrap. Um, please give it a, a thumbs up. No, uh, <laughs> give the book and the movie a, a shot. Really, um, I enjoyed the the book so much. The movie, absolutely. Um, I read the the I first read it like untraditional book, mm. and then I tried to go and try um, the audio go book. the audio book route. Who does with, that narration? Neil, Neil himself. Oh my god. Uh, he's very nice and he's yeah. British, Devasa. Yeah. 
we all enjoy a British yes. accent. So very nice. Tried it on Audible. Um, I got it for the free trial. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm a cheapskate, so <laughs> a lot of paper stuff. Um, but give it a shot. You will enjoy it. And yeah, go watch the movie for a movie produced in 2009. Yeah, it's, it, it's very nice. It's yeah. cool. It's really it nice. It well. Mm -hmm. um, it stood the test of time. It's, uh, what do you call that? Like an, an instant classic? Yeah, it is. Okay, All so right. I think that's it for us for today's video. Don't forget to um, don't forget like. to subscribe to our channel for more related content. And I guess that's it. That's a wrap. That's a wrap. Ciao. Bye.